Hey sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sing. Awesome Naya. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, just kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload. And please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much, and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the love, the support you are showing me here with. I am grateful, and you all are super sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about a white woman who actually came out to say that why is it that she cannot come on here i mean like on tiktok to say that she loves black men without being an entire uproar and i am asking do i blame anybody or do i blame my people coming out to probably talk about it or tell you to just go take a several seats i do not blame anybody i love the fact that even you are black people are also protecting their territory and upmarking their territory because a lot has actually happened from the history to this very moment when you check the history of african american how we all started and what white women have done to black american you definitely will understand where i am coming from and where every other person that is going to speak on this thing is coming from i mean it's been a high ride if you understand what i am saying and i am sure that a lot of people actually do not want to make the same mistake that were made by some people and the rest of it right and why is it that it is just a particular race that you are loving because it's in kind of like it's screaming right to the season and all that but then it is what it is that is what you want i know that most of them are not even coming from a place of good heart or good destiny or good like you know pure love and all of that it is just some of them fetishizing black men and just wanting to be in that community or in that space and the rest of it i know i have seen a lot of i mean interracial marriages that went pure south and the kids are the ones suffering it and most time the men also especially black men they suffer a whole lot i am gonna roll this clip we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comment section so shut up let's get into it the fact that i can't come on here and say that i love black men without there being an entire uproar so my question comes why do you have to brace your love for a specific demographic why are you pro black men and not pro black people and it's crazy how the tiktok algorithm works but i was literally just talking about this how weird i think it is to do stuff like this whether it's a black man or a black woman, whether it's a white man or a white woman doing it. Fetishizing black people is so damn weird. Do you know how many posts I come across in a day of women talking about, oh, I love black men with dreads. I should have known he was a red flag. He was a dark skinned black man with dreads. Do you not realize how inherently harmful this is to our people? That's why people have such an uproar about it. And you say that you don't see the uproar when people come on here praising black women. Let me be the first to tell you that I'm one of those people that hate that. I hate the fetishization of our men and women. It's weird. We're not doll babies. We're not Barbies. We cannot be objectified by things that are in our culture. You're talking about people are still indoctrinated by the racial pseudoscience, whatever, whatever. But it's your same demographic of people upholding that. That's why. Very seeing that you have a strong love for a specific race is so weird to me. Regardless of the race, regardless of men and women, it's weird. You notice the patterns that the people who feel like they have to verse their love for black men so much, or even black women, are usually the ones who will not have black men and women's backs when shit really goes down in society against us. Especially black men. Yeah. Your video is extremely harmful to the black community but especially black women. It's the fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. Okay. Sweetheart, this is the thing. You can like who you want to like, right? But like, sometimes it's just so cliche. And that is what is outside the norm. That has nothing to do, in my opinion, with just white supremacy. 
and how people see black people, uh, black men. But because it's repetitious to even black men constantly saying that they're dating outside their race or, you know, passport bros, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It just gives this negative connotation to a lot of the problem that is the problem within entire indoctrination all over the world. OK, um, that's one thing. But two is, is that why do you ever, why, why is it ever necessary to declare that though, right? So like if you have a group of men and you're not sitting with your girlfriends and having like a casual conversation, like why is it necessary to declare the type of men that you like? So for example, if I'm having a conversation with my girlfriends and we're out having drinks and we're just casually talking about the type of men that we like to date, then in that moment, in that setting, yes, it makes sense to say, you know what? I like him tall. I like him dark. I like him handsome. Like I'll date a Matthew McConaughey type of dude, but I prefer to date this type of guy. You know, it's it's okay, but it's casual conversation. But it almost seems to be like a thing that you guys say to kind of lure the black men in. But a lot of times what you're not realizing, the type of black men that you're luring in, however, are not the ones that are qualified. They're not bona fide type of men. They're not the type of men that's going to gravitate towards you and come in with respect, their own income, responsibility, understanding the the dynamics of women and men, uh, women and men. No, they're gravitating towards you because now you're coming off as a weak woman. So when a white person responds to it, they might say it in a different way, but at the end of the day, we all see things differently just in different for different reasons in different ways. Okay, so I think that's the reason why you're probably more than likely getting backlash. I didn't go look at the video because I didn't care to look at it. I just was listening to your statement when you said that, like, when I come up in here and I talk about me liking black men and things like that, you don't have to tell us all that, though. That's the problem. Like, baby, if that's your preference, that's your preference. I guess what my only question is, is that why do you, when I always hear women say, <clears throat> and I guess I'm a little bit older, so I understand that when you say that you like a group of men, it's putting yourself in a box and it's leaving, it's not leaving you enough room to really find true love when you put yourself in a box. So I used to be the girl to say I would never date outside my race, but that would again be limiting you on finding true love. Anyway, so part two of what I was basically just saying is just that any when you start, and I learned this from many, many years, but like when you say that you won't date outside your race or you date like a certain type of man, um, you know, it really kind of limits you. And when you grow and you get a little older, I don't know how old you are, but when you get a little older, you're going to realize just how much um, that may limit you. Also, a lot of times, and I, and I say this all the time, there are a lot of good black brothers but sometimes when when, when white women you got to understand y'all got to protect yourself is that y'all not always seen as strong women and maybe truly there are a lot of you that may be but that is not sometimes what our some of our black brothers see when they see you so when you say that you only like a group of men or a type of like a certain type of man baby you attracting that you're going to bring that negativity to you so that's why you're getting backlash the fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. I sat there and I watched her video. I didn't watch the whole thing, so I don't really don't know what else she said. But then there was this energy to her. It's this thing that I noticed that a lot of white women carry about them. Black men are not puppies on the street in need of saving. Okay, your savior complex is not needed. <laughs> and honestly, that's part of the problem. It absolutely is. Save your tears. I'm not going to say save your love because love is love. It's a beautiful thing. But just make sure that you're coming from a a good place and not a why to save your place, okay? That's, that's, that's how half of the world was colonized. Black men don't need your saving. That's it. It's the fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. You want to know why there's such an uproar? because we see through your crap. We know that people like you only say that, oh, I love black men, I want a black boyfriend because you only see us as your little BBC fetish. And half of the time, well, not even half of the time, nine times out of 10, y'all be racist, y'all be abusive, y'all be weird. 
and you know y'all are just not good people you know and you hide it behind this pseudo this pseudo activism when the whole time you're just fetishizing us so that's just not cool we see through that and i wish more black men saw through that because we would have less of you it's the fact that i can't come on here and say that i love black men without there being an entire uproar see this is exactly what i'm talking about go watch her video she's basically saying that she can't say that she likes a black man without everybody getting, you know what I'm saying, mad or or, or you're using him for his body or or you're 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 fetishizing him. Yeah, you're, 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 you're. bro, I'm telling you, man. When we say America is racist and shit, bro, it's racist and shit. They just keep exposing it. Just just watch it, bro. It, it, you can't say nothing positive about black people, like black men in general. That's why they hate the passport bros movement. That's why they're trying to demonize it. Oh, it's got to be something bad because y'all are doing it. Y'all are the ones doing it. Ugh. You know what I'm saying, bro? And then what's so bad about it? The world is not on the same shit as America. And I think that's what's driving a lot of these low-key racists fucking mad. That they're like, well, why why not? So, so we're the only ones that can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're exposed. Peace out. That I love black men without there being an entire uproar is genuinely sad. Brothers, it is Black History Month. Stop allowing yourself to be pandered to. This woman does not love you. She is a parasite on the dying carcass that is your heart. Most of y'all need love. I can see from the comments. But her argument is that black men exhibit behaviors that are kind, that are caring. This is racism. Assigning behaviors and traits to a particular race is racist. It's like saying Asians are good at math. I know you need love, but stop getting it from random internet people. Who just want your views. I need to pander to you. And on a real note, I do not like the weak shit. The pathetic groveling some of y'all do for white woman validation. It is pathetic, man. Get the hell up. It's the fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. I believe people can love whoever the hell they want to. Hell, I seen a TV show where a woman married a tree. So if white women can have coitus with conifers, I see no problem with Caucasians courting African Americans. Serena Williams got a white man that don't take away from her black. Kamala Harris got a white man that don't take away from her black. Goddamn black man get a white wife, he gotta be an Uncle Tom. Or even worse, a Republican. Are those two synonymous? I'm just fucking with you, black Republicans, you so sensitive ass motherfuckers. Don't let Michael B. Jordan marry a white woman. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Black women be so mad they are burn sage for 20 years. I mean, I seen a white man fall in love with a dog. I mean, white people are just fall in love with anything, y'all. You know, just let them be. If they gonna fall in love with anything, might as well be a black person. I mean, the whole world gonna wind up looking like Steph Curry anyway. Eventually, we gonna be one big ass pot of light skin with burnt edges. Yep, the whole human civilization is gonna look like cornbread. I mean, all skin folk ain't kin folk. I just so happen to think the black women are the shit, so I married one. But if I thought white women were the shit, Hispanic women were the shit, Asian women were the shit, I would've married one of them motherfuckers too. And what the fuck, we worried about who other people fucking anyway. I like Crayola box kids. I mean, I like people that just look like they everything. Where you come from? Where your people from? Everywhere. The fact that I can't come on here and say that I love black men without there being an entire uproar. Leave us alone, mind your business, and organize your people if you care that much. That I love black men without there being an entire uproar. I've spoken about this many, many times, but you can see it in your own comment section, in even in the comment that you yourself uh, made a secondary video to um, in your comment section. The problem is not with dating or marrying or being with someone that is uh, with a man that is black or saying that you like black men or any of those things. The problem is that oftentimes the same energy comes from black men and white women when it comes to them dating which is to attack black women as if we are your enemy somehow. 
Like, we have white women who will come at us and with a we got your man kind of energy. Um, and then when we come back and say, you got men we don't want, then we're being haters. Um, st- uh, st- Steadily perpetuating that angry black woman stereotype. We have black men who sit who uh, sit around and commiserate with each other. Like black women are the problem. Black women. The reason I like white women is because I don't can't deal with black women. And it's uh, it's like, why are we your motivation to be with anyone? Like, why can't you just be together for each other? And so I'm not saying anything about you because I don't know you as a person but the problem that we have is that it tends to uh, we tend to have a lot of that energy coming from both white women and black men Um, and a lot of times there is colorism a lot of times there is straight racism in uh, black men, white women relationships if you don't believe me, go look at, take some time and do a deep dive on this app. You don't even have to leave this platform about children born to white women with black fathers and how many of them have distorted views of their blackness and how many of them who have uh, started to deconstruct their, their white supremacy and racism have negative memories of their childhood and their upbringing because they were made to feel like either they were somehow better than other black people or that their blackness was not uh, was not a positive part of them. So, if we could get white women and black men to um, disassociate themselves and deconstruct their need to be a part of the patriarchy. Um, I think we would have less problems overall in this because honestly, no, black women don't. Black women have been constantly told that we care that black men date white women, but I never see a black woman who actually feels this way. And I really do not blame anybody. I mean, trying to save God himself, his territory, and the rest of it. I mean, they have really done a lot of harm to black community, starting from the uh, the beginning of the history and all that. And the, uh, the truth is that some of them are not even coming from a good place. Some are just, uh, you know, something they have criticized and... Uh, some get into some eventually say they want what black men they get into it have kids and things things went pure north you know or south you know and uh, <clears throat> which is not even good for black community as a whole so for all of them we see all of them like you know having the same they all had the same mental like how do i say it? they are speaking from the same experience and all that so they know how dangerous it is for a black man and a white woman to come together. It doesn't, most times it does not end well. Some end up like, you know, pretty good, but some don't end well. And that is where you start seeing some of the biracial kids coming out <clears throat> to say that uh, my mom's family are very rich. They see, I mean, like saying so many nasty things about what is going on and all that but so i think it's a good thing that we understand that most times the math i'm mathing or the math i mean the matchmaking or something it's not working some of them they come with bad intentions or some of them actually did not like you they just is something they really want to do i mean to, uh, get off their i mean their list to do list and all that maybe a black man will fell for read and that is the end of it. Things eventually go like, you know, really well wrong and the rest of it. So, yeah, I appreciate everybody that spoke here because like they all came all out. They understand. I mean, why, what happened to your own race? How come you do not like people from your own race? Because this is screaming so many things. If you understand what I'm saying, it's screaming so many things. And yeah, it is not because... Uh, People are having uproar or something. It is because of the history of what you all, white women, have done to black men that tried even loving you people and the rest of it. 
so this is where i am gonna draw the curtain thank you so much for the support and i will see you all in my next video bye for now